Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Nadwa and in this video we are going to write a C program for simple calculator using if else. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular braces. I am going to write stdio.h. Next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular braces. We will write console input output dot h wide main function and then we will write curly open brace and here I am going to declare two variables of type integer a comma b. Now let us declare one more variable of type char that is op. op represent operator. Here it is a character type of operator. Let us write clr yes cr function which is used to clear the screen. Next, we are going to provide the menu to the end user in a printf statement. In a double quotation mark, I am going to write choose the operator and I will write backward slash n that brings the cursor down to the next line and then I am going to create a menu that represent plus is used for addition backward slash n. Next, I will write minus for difference backward slash n that brings the cursor down to the next line and next is asterisk symbol so that is used for multiplication multiplication backward slash n so this brings the cursor down to the next line so I don't have space to write on the right hand side so I'm going to write it below you can write it in a single printf statement now after multiplication I have to write forward slash that is used for division backward slash n that brings the cursor down to the next line. So after all the four arithmetic operators we have to ask the user to enter the operator. Now in a same statement only I am going to write enter the operator and then I am going to use colon double quotation mark and close the bracket put semicolon. Now we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scanf statement. Here I am going to write percentage %c and the double quotation mark comma the variable op because here we are asking the user to enter either plus minus multiplication or division. So it is of type character so that is the reason we have used format specified percentage C. After receiving, it must ask the user to enter two numbers. Let us write printf statement over here. In a double quotation mark, I am going to ask the user to enter two numbers colon backward slash n and the double quotation and semicolon. So using scanf statement, I am going to write percentage d percentage d and the double quotation mark comma ampersand a and comma ampersand b so both of these two variables we have received here next after receiving these two values we have to check the operator using if condition so if here the variable is what operator op is equal to here i am using relational operators that is used for comparing Two values in a single quotation mark I'm going to write plus symbol if it is plus chosen by the user then it has to perform addition now I'm going to um, write the printf statement I'll write printf and in a double quotation mark I'm going to write percentage D so operator plus percentage D is equal to percentage D and the double quotation mark comma a so this percentage D refers to the variable a this plus will be printed as it is next comma the next percentage d format specifier specifies or associated with the next variable called b equal to result so here this percentage d is associated with a plus b operation similarly we are going to check the difference operator for that we are going to check else if and here in a condition we will write 
operator is equal to in a single pair of quotation mark i'm going to write minus if this is true then it has to print percentage d here we have to use minus sign percentage d is equal to percentage d and the double quotation mark comma a comma b comma a minus b and put semicolon so similarly we are going to use one more else if statement operator is equal to in a single pair of quotation mark if we find asterisk symbol then we have to perform multiplication so again i'm going to write printf statement percentage d asterisk symbol percentage d is equal to percentage d and the double quotation mark a comma b comma a into b and semicolon next the last uh, one is division again we are going to use else if operator is equal to in a single pair of quotation mark we have to write forward slash that is that represent uh, division now we are going to write printf statement here the important point that is to be noted i'm going to explain over here i'm going to write in a double quotation mark percentage d forward slash percentage d is equal to here i'm going to use percentage f because i want a result in a real number that is in a floating point number so that's the reason we have used format specifier percentage f end the double quotation mark put comma this percentage d refers to a division will be printed as it is that is integer division forward slash and percentage d refers to the variable b next is equal to percentage f refers to a divided by b so this gives us floating point number so we are going to use the explicit type conversion for that we have to write float inside the bracket and we are going to perform a division by b and then put closing brace and put semicolon now we are going to write the error message for example if any of these conditions are false then uh, or you can say uh, all of these conditions are false then the else part must be executed here if the operator is plus then this particular statement will get executed if this operator is minus then this particular statement will get executed if the operator is asterisk symbol then this particular statement will get executed if the operator is division then it is going to execute this particular statement if the user enters any other operator other than plus minus multiplication and division then there must be one more option called else here it should print printf error in operator end the double quotation mark put semicolon and then we'll write get ch function and here i'll write curly closing brace now uh, once we compile and run this program so how exactly it shows menu i'm going to show you here here you can see we have written printf statement correct so let us write output so first it is going to print choose the operator correct so after this we have got backward slash n that brings the cursor down to the next line so next plus addition so here after this then in the next line plus addition will be printed after this again we have got backward slash n that brings the cursor down to the next line so it is going to print minus refers to difference minus difference next backward slash n asterisk symbol multiplication asterisk symbol multiplication again we have got here backward slash n that brings the cursor down to the next line and it is going to print forward slash division just because of this backward slash n again it brings the cursor down to the next line and it is going to print enter the operator so here enter the operator will be printed and colon so now it is uh, waiting or seeking some input from the user so through scanf we are passing the operator which is of type character right so for example in this case i am going to choose plus operator for example if i type plus and then enter then it is going to ask the user to enter two numbers so here it is going to print enter two numbers 
Next, we are going to enter two numbers. For example, I'm going to enter two and three. So two will be stored in variable A and three will be stored in variable B. So what we have chosen here, the operator plus. So we are going to check this condition. If OP is equal to plus here, this condition is satisfied. This condition is true. If this is true, then this particular statement will be executed. So percentage D associated with A. What is the value of A here? Two. So it is going to print two. Next, this plus will be printed as it is. Next, percentage D is associated with B value. So B value is three. So that is two plus three will be printed. Is equal to will be printed as it is. Next, percentage D is associated with A plus B. That is two plus three is equal to five will be printed. In this way, difference, multiplication and even division can be obtained. So let us execute this program. For that, I will take you to my laptop screen. Here I have already written this program in Turbo C++ uh, compiler integrated development environment. Now we are going to compile this uh, program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success. That means there is no syntax error. I'll press enter. Now we are going to uh, run this program by pressing Control F9. Here you can see the menu. Choose the operator. Plus is for addition. Minus is for difference. Asterisk symbol is for product forward slash is for division. Now it is asking the user to enter the operator. So for example, I'm going to enter plus and then press enter. So now it is asking two numbers. I'm going to enter two and then three. Here you can see it is displaying two plus three is equal to five. So let us check out the result for difference product and division. So let me run the same program once again by pressing control F9. Here I'm going to select minus and then enter. Now I'm going to enter 3 and 4. Here you can see 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 1. So it is showing the correct result. So now check out the product by pressing Ctrl F9. Once again, we are going to run and now we are going to use asterisk uh, symbol for multiplication. Now, once again, I'm going to enter two numbers. 5, 6, 30. So it is showing the right result. Next, we'll go for again executing this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Now we'll go for division. So here we have taken the floating type of data. So I have typed forward slash enter. Now you can see it is asking uh, the user to enter two numbers. For example, I'm going to enter 3 divided by 2. So that is, you can see 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1.50. 0, 0, 0, 0, it is showing. I hope you understood this program. If so, write in the comment box as understood. Thank you.